I'm David Dodgerson. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube how to sew nets. I live in the Great Lakes region and I have not seen a video on there yet about how to sew a commercial net for Lake Superior. So I'm going to make a video. I'm sewing this mesh 5 on 12. The reason why I'm doing that is because these nets will probably be used in Lake Huron also. So I just put three meshes to the cord, two over the cord. Now I'm going to start my five. This is a 50 foot stretch. And there's a lot of wind today. But it's a good idea. This is 50 mesh. Michigan, there's lots of zebra mussels. For my Lake Superior nets, I sew only four on nine. But these nets will be used everywhere, so we're going to do five on twelve. The zebra mussels don't stick in the five on twelve as much as they do in the four. These are lead and cork nets. Lead core, lake superior. Feels good, but nowadays you gotta fish all over the place, so lead core and lake here on in Michigan, I have bad luck with it. A lot of current. But you see you get one side down. I just didn't see you get the knots tight. Everyone says you need tight knots. But you don't need that tight knots. The reason being your first lift out of a hundred and something feet of water, these knots will be so tight up there. We're using quarter inch sidelines. We're using FL250 floats. Six ounce lead under each float. The leads and corks are spaced ten feet apart. And that's how you do that. In another video, I'll show you how to start a net, splice rope together, and how to finish one. Thank you for watching.